The death toll of Thursday's attack on Kabul airport rose as some of those wounded died overnight. Dozens of people were killed in the explosions, mainly civilians, including children, and also some members of the Taliban. Thursday was the deadliest day for U.S. troops in Afghanistan in over a decade. Members of the Afghan branch of the Islamic State group struck in front of the walls of the airport near the Baron Hotel and then 100 meters away at the Abbey Gate, both meeting points for foreigners and Afghans waiting to be evacuated. Moments after the attack, our reporters talked with people fleeing the site. He was referring to barbed wire found by one of the gates at Kabul airport, where thousands of Afghans have amassed every day seeking to flee the Taliban-controlled country. Hours after the attack, Joe Biden said this will not stop America from completing the evacuation. These ISIS terrorists will not win. We will rescue the Americans in there. We will get our Afghan allies out. And our mission will go on. America will not be intimidated. Friday morning, more flights allowed foreign nationals and Afghans to leave Kabul, an operation that will gradually slow and end by August 31st.